Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to leave you feeling inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of having an abundance mentality. Having an abundance mentality is especially important right now with everything that's happening in the world with COVID-19. What does having an abundance mentality mean? It means that we believe that there is enough resources to go around. This applies to every area in your life, success, happiness, health, money. When we think in terms of abundance, we rid ourselves of living in a place of fear and scarcity. Having a scarcity mentality is rooted in fear and gives us a false sense of reality. It leads us to believe we must be selfish and that success and resources are limited. The truth is, the universe has your back. It constantly provides and is ever giving. But to tap into this, we must first shift our minds from lack to fullness to scarcity to abundance. Only then can we begin to see the world from a different lens, a lens of love, abundance, and being kind. When our mentality is rooted from a place of abundance, we give our trust in the universe that what we need will be provided fully without having to take away from others. Remember, the quality of your life is based on the quality of your thoughts. So make sure you have a mindset that helps you to grow and flourish rather than holding you back and keeping you stagnant. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Joining us now is Ricky Rakuti, the founder of Brighter Path for Autism. Ricky created the organization when his son Adriana Rakuti was diagnosed with ASD. Brighter Path for Autism is a charity that is dedicated to raising awareness and funds for children and their families that have not yet been granted government funding. Ricky, thank you so much for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. It's uh it's a pleasure finally to meet you and uh especially under these circumstances i know what we had to go through to get this done i really really appreciate it so let's talk about how you're doing and dealing with this pandemic right now it's pretty crazy out there how are you coping uh we're still you know the family's staying safe uh brighter path for autism is still you know luckily honestly the best thing uh through social media you know we can still uh, reach out to people on our instagram our facebook page through our you know, our committee members. And so we're, we're still finding, you know, um, we have to be creative, right? To keep uh, our, our mission going. Obviously, you know, the fundraising, um, you know, the parties and everything that we have done and reaching out towards the school, it's, you know, unfortunately it's closed, but you know, we're looking forward after this is all done to um, getting back on track and definitely, uh, you know, we're working on it. It's just a little bit of a struggle, but we're doing well, thank you. Well, I'm glad you're keeping well. Let's talk about your organization, Brighter Path for Autism, and how it got started and why. So Brighter Path for Autism was started, honestly, uh, my youngest son was diagnosed with autism uh, at the age of about two and a half on the three. And what happened was I started it originally to just have a fundraiser to help my son. I, like, it was all new for us. 
the whole thing about autism and his diagnosis and everything and you know the um the cost for funding for a child to help pay for uh um the the autism therapy is you know it, it can be quite expensive so when we did our first party what what happened was when i when, when we first raised the funds i saw there was a need to help other families also to reach out because a lot of people didn't have anywhere to turn or or no other uh, resources financially that they could dip into and we started doing a, a family fun day picnic and all funds raised i would disperse it through families that didn't have government funding and uh, through att kids which is located in Vaughan. And we would disperse the funds on the, you know, on um, on a system where you know we, we we would pick who would need the most help, and uh, it's it was it was very re rewarding, you know, from the first time. And like I said, unfortunately now that you know we're supposed to have a big fundraiser coming up next week that I had to get postponed, but we're looking forward to uh, to uh, rescheduling that in the fall or like the late fall. So hopefully. Uh, we can get that going and help these children. What kind of challenges did you face when you found out your son had autism? The challenges like when it first began was obviously there were the telltale signs like um, not answering to his name, uh, not responding to like, you know, basic commands when like a child would, because, you know, I have two other children and we just saw there was, you know, there, there was something missing. There was something missing and, you know, we got, other people would say, oh, he's just a boy, you know, they're a little bit lazy and they'll come around. But, you know, my wife and myself, we knew there was something, something what wasn't proper, something wasn't correct. And that's when we brought him to get diagnosed and through the diagnosis, then what we saw was, you know, uh, you know, he's come a long way in the last three years, you know, like, like big improvements of, you know, speaking a little bit, words, singing, and understanding and understanding and making eye contact that, that that was a huge part so the the challenges were, were still there they are still there sorry but he's he's uh he's learning he's learning and uh we're taking it day by day we're getting there he's doing great and what kind of challenges do your families have with kids with autism and what advice do you have for them it's extremely stressful it can be for you know mother you know mother or father like both parents together um unfortunately one of the main things is uh the communication uh between the child right because they you know unfortunately they might understand you or certain commands they they might not um or speaking back to you you know a child might not say you know uh, i'm hungry i'm tired i'm thirsty my stomach hurts uh you know, I don't want this. I don't want that. So you start. It it takes it takes a, a long time. It it and and it's work in progress to understand where, you know, what a child might might want, or what a child doesn't want, or how they're feeling. And uh, these are are what I find like the um, the the difficulties. It's just that communication where sometimes, you know, you you get frustrated even though you try not to. You you really really have to hold your patience and and try and understand what that child is, is is trying to explain to you this is where i find the uh the most difficult thing is but like i said again sometimes i know my son like the other day we we're trying to wash his hair or comb it and he grabbed it and he said no i don't want to comb so you know sometimes when he gets upset the words come out so it's it's like uh you know it's it's like a tough love you know it comes out in the those circumstances so for us it's uh to hear things like that it's amazing even though he is upset so and I know you had an upcoming event, but obviously with everything that's happening in the world, I'm sure it's going to be postponed. So let's talk about that. Do you plan on postponing it soon? Yes, the, the event will be rescheduled. Um, I'm not going to put a date. I have it rescheduled like late October. I won't post the date yet, but it, it is. We did reschedule. Um, it's called Blue Jeans and Cocktails. And, you know, we we're going to have like, you know, live band and, and music, cocktails, open bar, full full uh, gourmet food stations you know the whole nine yards prizes and everything and you know unfortunately these were the circumstances you know the decisions had to be made and i'm happy that i didn't let it go too long and, and our committee members i'm proud of them uh, are really sticking behind us and um and and you know making the right decision unfortunately you know decisions had to be made it's not just about the organization it's about family and keeping people safe at this time so we did reschedule 
and we will yeah. we will be posting and letting people know when it is. And what kind of impact have you seen with Brighter Path for Autism in the community? Brighter Path for Autism, I, I saw like the best I could tell. Um, what I truly enjoy is um, when we we've had make we have made a few donations and reached out to families at the school, and I personally um, didn't even meet them. So it's almost like sitting in the background and watching the end result. I really, really enjoy that, uh, reaching out to families and trying to help as many people as you can, because at the end of the day, we're trying to help children. And when I see another child that goes to the school, like my son, I feel it's like my child. I know what, I know what those parents are going through. I know what the family's going through. And I, I, I understand, I totally understand what challenges, you know, just like you said, that, that they're facing. So when I see that, and honestly, when we have our fundraising, like our different events, like our private supper clubs or our, you know, family fun day picnic, or we're supposed to have our uh, blue jeans and cocktails event of people just coming to have a good time. That's really what, you know, and they walk out of there and say, you know what, I really, really had a good time for a great cause. That's really what, what up, what keeps us going. And I'm sure it feels very rewarding with all your work that you're doing and using your story to inspire others. Let's talk about that. It's been great. It's nice when um, one story is like uh, when people recognize me, maybe through social media or a picture and they, and they came up to me and said, hey, are you so-and-so from Brighter Path for Autism? And I said, yes, I am. I'm like, how did you recognize me? And then like, you know, well, we saw your picture and, and that's really, really rewarding when people reach out to me and ask like you know what we do and and how can i help or an organization or corporate or or families right that's really really rewarding because it means that people are taking an interest people are taking interest in what we're doing and they're following and we, we, we are true to what we do you know so it, and when we get the families and other people from the school uh behind it and that's at the end of the day, I can, it's, it's about raising awareness and with the awareness comes the fundraising and, and helping these children and trying to give them the chance that they deserve. You know, that's, that's really what it, what it's all about. Just, just trying to help a little bit at a time. And where can people connect with Brighter Path for Autism on social media? People can get involved. They can reach out. They can contact me uh, through uh, uh, Brighter Path for Autism at gmail.com or they can uh, direct message me through our Instagram, which is a uh, brighter path, the number four autism, and they can direct message and they can make a donation. Right now we have a, uh, for the month of April, because it's a uh, autism, international autism awareness month. We've, um, someone reached out to us. They're called Live Bon Adancini. They make homemade rice balls and they're cooked fresh and they're frozen and they're delivering. So Livbon Arancini is going to be donating a portion of their sales this month towards Brighter Path for Autism. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Yeah, so if anybody has any ideas or if they'd like to reach out, I'm always available to answer. Well, thank you so much, Ricky, for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure and keep up the amazing work that you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me and it was so great speaking to you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through Twitter and Facebook.